Meghan Markle will follow in the footsteps of her sister-in-law Kate and give birth at the Linda Wing, according to a royal source. The Duchess of Sussex has just weeks to go until her and Prince Harry's first child is due to arrive. Speculation has been swirling over where Meghan will give birth to her royal taunt. There have been claims that the couple could choose an American-owned hospital or one closer to their new Windsor home. But Meghan and Harry have decided the exclusive maternity unit at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington is the superior choice. An insider told the Evening Standard, having weighed up the options, and in acknowledgement of its place in royal tradition, they consider it the superior choice. The Duchess of Cambridge gave birth to her three children at the Linda Wing. Kate famously posed on the steps outside the maternity unit with Prince George, Princess Charlotte and little Louis. Harry and his older brother William were also born at St. Mary's. The news follows claims that Meghan could shun the private wing because she doesn't want to do anything that Kate Middleton has. But staff were claimed to have been told not to take holiday in April when baby Sussex is due, sparking speculation Meghan would use the hospital. Meanwhile Princess Diana's former butler Paul Burrell suggested strong and defiant Meghan would opt for a U.S.-owned hospital like the Portland, where Sarah Ferguson gave birth. Meghan was also said to be looking at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey, favoured by the Countess of Wessex. There were even reports that Meghan was considering a home birth but that is thought to be unlikely. Harry's wife is due to give birth in April or early May. The royal couple are due to move to Frogmore Cottage ahead of the tot's arrival. The Grade II listed 10-bedroom property is currently undergoing renovations which reportedly include a gender-neutral nursery.